I really started seeing it in middle school. But. How'd that happen? Yeah, I was going to oh. say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, my brother Cole had a, a Chattis for Six jersey, and somehow Bo got a hold of it, and he wore it for picture day, and that's what he claimed his claim to fame is. He's been a fan ever since. But. You ever go in and run with those guys? Just scrimmage, pick up, whatever? No, I, I, I told myself I would in the summer, but um, I never got around to it. I mean, I wish I would. I go in there and shoot some, because obviously both got access, but um, I never. Really, the only time we, when we went in there was in the spring, me, Bo, and Luke would go play, you know, game before 1v1. I got to ask this, which is totally unrelated to a regular press conference stuff, but do you guys have different teams you root for so you can elevate the competitive stuff in the, in the uh, house? We were all Panthers fans growing up besides Bo, um, all of us were Panthers fans. And then ever since Cam Newton left, I've kind of just fallen off. And, uh, you know, really, yeah, we were really all just going to Panthers games and, and being Panthers fans. But since now, we kind of, yeah, just separated and just find a, a player. Stuff yeah, Commanders, yeah. But yeah, that's probably the biggest team I'm a fan of right now. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. I hate. I hate to be the one to interrupt the fun. That's usually not my role. Uh, <laughs> I, wanted, I, I wanted to ask you about like the the individual drill you mentioned the other night after after the game. Mac was talking about it a little bit yesterday, um, and you were mentioning how like intense it is. Yeah. Um, uh, when the big time reporter asked you about it. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, but like, could you just do, like describe it for us? Like, we don't know what that is. Like, can, like, like, what do you do, and like, why is it? Why is it so beneficial to you? Think? Yeah. So uh, it really goes good. It. It'd be better if he could actually do stuff with us. So the thing is, that he's just got to kind of watch and he kind of kind of orchestrate it. So he's just kind of over there on the side watching, which is you know the bummer part. But he tells Coach Lindsay he's over there smirking on the side because Coach Lindsay we're. You know, jumping over hurdles. Um, you know, we're 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 dodging. Um, you know, big yoga balls. You know, we're doing the whole nine yards. Um, you know, more of it. You know, it's really just you know, getting on some some throwing the run drills, and right after that, we'll go into the big bag drills. We call it. We're moving and shuffling in the pocket versus yeah. like like through a wave. That, uh, it's kind of kind of a wave drill. And the next, we're going the hurdles, and we're going back over the hurdles, and we're going back back back. So just a whole lot of different stuff that um, you know, it's really just good stuff. Kind of gets your day started. Um, and, um, really, from there, I kind of feel like you know, the rest of practice is kind of coasting back there in the pocket. Um, because a lot of that stuff is you know, really you're moving on the move, and then um, comes some of that is translating into the game. So, Mac mentioned that it may be some of that work maybe has helped you through the first five games, not like drift into a sack. Yeah. Maybe how, how you might have been. Do you think that's just. Yeah, for that's sure. I think I drifted more last year. I think I still drifted, you know, I'm drifting less, but at times I still think I did. So, Saturday, um, you know, I won the. The Tez, you know, we had a, we had him open them open on maybe the first second drive. I'm out there in the end zone and, and, and missed him. Uh, I think I missed him. Uh, I, I drifted a little bit into that one. Um, other than that, trying to do a better job. I'm um, still one of those things that's kind of my play style. It's kind of like to be, you know, on the move and, and not, not. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm still calm in the pocket, but a little bit antsy back there, you know, ready to move or, or dodge somebody. So uh, just kind of, yeah, still still have to deal with that. But at the same time, you know, keeping you know the same mentality, making plays, and being able to. Yeah, we're usually, um, it can be, so, depending on the practice, Tuesday, like today, um, it's 15 minutes, so 15 non minutes straight. Right? Yeah, yeah, nonstop. He'll give us the last, you know, minute or so, he calls it a washout, we'll get, get to just, you know, drink some water or something and, and rest up for team periods, but um, really, yeah, it's about 15 minutes, and 15 minutes of individual, then we'll go to the running backs for a little bit for about five minutes, then we're going to the routes on air, and then from straight there, we're going to the team, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know that guy thought I was crazy when I said I was a little bit, you know, winded, but no, I think it's how it should be. I think he even used to mention it. You know, Tom Brady used to like it when they did it. He felt like he got his feet moving and got, you know. Um, so Brady ran the same type of Yeah, oh yeah, he showed me, you know, exact same drills that, that him, that they ran in Tampa, um, you know, on film, you know, watching them. It's pretty cool and that we're doing some of the same stuff. Where are you right now with respect to game management? And I ask that knowing that you have Freddie and Clyde and your NFL guys, and maybe managing the game a little bit more like an NFL quarterback as far as taking certain things instead of trying to make throws maybe you would have made last last year. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's huge. I think, you know, they're great at um, just kind of, like I said, taking the check down. You never go broke taking a profit. You know, and they always, um, you know, they're, they're big on their guys, you know, especially Coach Kitchens and the Titans not, um, you know, doing the right thing and, and coaching them hard. But at the same time, they'll give, you know, little little pieces of advice, you know, here and there, um, whether it's leadership-wise or on the field-wise that, that go a long way, you know. They're, they're great minds, and um, they've really done a great job of, um, you know, they've coached great quarterbacks, and you know, Coach Richards played quarterback, and um, obviously Clyde's and played quarterback as well, and he's coached the best of them. So uh, Coach Christian and Coach Kitchen, they've been an you know, awesome addition, along with Coach Lindsey. They've got a, 
a lot of minds, and I think the best thing about it is they're they're all not trying to coach me like like um, you know I'm the only the one they're coaching. You know they're all you know the main throwing sound by here, sound by there, and really like Coach Lindsay, you know, be the main coach. That's, that's is an example deal. that I think it was in the second quarter there night. You, you, I think you threw a British. Absolutely. Picked up a first. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and you said there that. was a lot of stuff going on there, but you went through your progression very quickly and just dumped it in. It was like the safe throw, and he got the first yeah. down. Yeah. Is that an example? I mean, yeah, I think that's, that's exactly an example. I think you know, two or three times I checked it down, and, and I think the running backs, you know, one time at the end of the second half, and Amari got like 13 or 14 Amari. yards, and I checked it out, and almost we almost went for it on fourth down. Um, another time I checked it out to Amari on the right side. I'm um, going towards the student section. He got like seven or eight downs in the seven or eight yards in the red zone. Um, and also, I think I took one, maybe, maybe one time on third down. I had an eight um, down over to the left. I could have checked down to him. I think it was like a third or nine going towards the blue zone. Um, he was open on a little option out to the left. I think I could have found him. Uh, he maybe just get you know six or seven or any of those break tackle and get get nine or ten. So I'm just trying to get that mindset going of you know, these guys. That's what they do. You know, they catch the football and make plays. So you know, kind of get out of my hand and uh, not always trying to you know make plays with my feet. Drake. Um... How easy of a transition has it been in practice with Tez being back in there? Not just because of his abilities, but you, you know, during the spring and fall, you planned on him being there. Uh, I know last week is really, you found out two days before that he's going to play, but this week in practice, has it been an easy transition? Ever? Yeah. Oh, he's, you know, he's, you know, he makes it look smooth. Um, he's, uh, we got, we got a lot of work, you know, after practice still, even when he was, um, you know, ineligible and uh, just kind of getting back in, into the groove and, um, getting him in there and having him and JJ and, and those outside guys balance, you know, playing different spots and, and adjusting to the news, having Tez back, you know, for full. And, you know, we, we've thrown a lot of, got a lot of reps with Tez in the spring. And it's like, you know, we, I feel like we haven't lost anything over the summer and even into the fall, you know, when the season came, I feel like we haven't lost anything. And him and Marks over there, you know, they went out at all spring. And um, I feel like he, he did a great job of getting Marks better and Marks the same for Tez. So, uh, you know, just kind of the same mentality of, all those work, that, those that work in the spring, is coming to pay off. Yeah, and just to go off of that, um, when you have guys like, you know, let's say JJ and Kobe doing what they did before mm -hmm. Tez and Nate came back, you get those guys back. Even you have a guy like, you know, Nesbitt had, you know, five catches the other day. Yeah. Is there a balance you have to strike to, you know, who you're kind of getting the ball in games, or is it just a matter of whoever's open is just open? Yeah, I think that's the, that's the best thing about this offense, just just trying to. You know, taking the defense gives us, or um, you know, whoever's open. That's the, that's the way I try to play. And um, sometimes, you know, some teams get in trouble with trying to feed guys a certain amount of touches. But at the same time, you want to get those guys. You know, the guys that are making plays, like Nate and Tez and JJ. Like I said, we got a lot of guys making plays. So just trying to, um, you know, find the right play and make the right decision. How hard was it that you didn't have first team reps with Tez for the last three weeks, and how much of a difference will it be? For the next game, yeah, I think it'll be huge. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I think I don't, I don't feel like he missed a beat out there. Um, I think you know maybe you know the one throw I had to him. Um, I think we had some underneath passes, some hitches there off him. Um, but I think the one throw in the end zone that I missed him—that's just me. Got to make a play. I make a better throw. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't feel like Ted really missed a beat. I think maybe maybe one play. You know, I thought he had a. I think I ended up taking a sack down there, and then we were backed up. I don't know if y'all remember, and I ended up um, looking his way, and I pump faked him, and he ended up. Um, running a, a route that I thought, a uh, different route than I thought. And that's just being on the same page, and like I said, get, not getting first team reps. And, um, just, you know, stuff like that happens. And you just got to, you know, manage, manage the negative plays and not turn into bigger negative. Did you, you get to see the, uh, did you get to see the end of the Miami Georgia Tech game after, on Saturday night, like after you got home? Did you get to see the end of it? Uh, I, I, I turned it off, you know, once, um, yeah, actually the, the last time that uh, Miami got the ball and they were running it out, I turned it off, and the next thing you know, you know, you see it you know, popping up and on social media. And some of the guys texting. Um, just a heartbreaking way to lose, and just that stuff's important. That's the little things in football that's important. You know, the game management, time management stuff. And um, I think Coach Lindsay's got that on the back of his, you know, play call sheet. You know, what, how many timeouts can you need it with, um, need it out, and how many timeouts can they have, and stuff like that. And so that stuff that goes to show, you know, how important you know the little things are. Do you think people might be underrating Miami just because of? How they lost, like, forgetting that they're still pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if underrated is the word, but um, that's a good question. I think you know they're really talented. You know, I just you know watch them on defense; they're flying around. Um, and obviously, I know Tyler Van Dyke pretty well. Um, he's a good dude. Um, he can make plays, and he those you know, he's a great, great quarterback. So um, we're gonna have our hands full. We gotta bring it. Um, they have some great young talent um, on defense. I think they um, you know play well. Um, they, they beat Texas A&M by a pretty good, pretty good margin. And, uh, I feel like, you know, watching the Georgia Tech film, they play well defensively, had two interceptions. Um, so, 
there. I was going to ask you, you had a tough loss in Georgia Tech last year. How hard is that to overcome and really get up for the next game? Is it hard for you and for the team or not? Um, yeah, that's, that's you know, Coach Brown does a great job of trying to, you know, t trying to enforce the, to let the team beat you twice. And, uh, you know, that's a tough mentality in college football. I think you know, the big thing is with, you know, got a team like that's undefeated like Miami and a team that we were 9-1, and one, you know, last year going to Georgia Tech. Um, it kind of puts a damper on your season. So, uh, yeah, it's just a kind of a type of thing where you got to, you know, try extra hard or, you know, put some extra work in or watch some extra film to try to get over that hump. But at the same time, it's one of those things that, you know, Coach Brown still talks about, you know, to this day, so it's one of those things that kind of lingers, and uh, just as a human being, you know, like you said, it's kind of tough to get over. Max said yesterday, Max said yesterday that he thought maybe Josh was targeted too much late last year. How is that room different now with the breadth of options that you have, especially now that Tez is back? Where if, if you don't, you're not gonna have to focus on one or two yeah. receivers. You've got a lot of dudes there. Definitely makes it tough on the defense. That's the biggest thing. Um, you know, they can't. You know, sit in cloud over an outside receiver or bracket inside receiver. Um, they can, you know, they have to, you know, take everybody and uh, look at everybody and look at the personnel and um, treat everybody with respect. And that's that's the best thing we got going. Uh, we got a lot of guys making plays, and um, you know, Josh was one of the best at them last year. And uh, I feel like we could have still like, you know, my part of trying to get him the rock. You know, trying to get the best guy the ball in his hand. So sometimes you can't take that away. But you know, one of the best instances from Tez is I think I. Uh, yeah, y'all probably saw the clip of him um, streaking open on a kind of a crossing route towards the towards the blue zone, and um, might have thrown it to Nate you at the backside post, and, and Tez turns back and puts his hands up for touchdown, and I end up overthrowing Nate a little bit. He's gonna die for it, and gets that one at the one. But I just goes to show those guys are cheering for each other in that room. Um, they're not, you know, being selfish over catches or touches or who's getting the touchdown. They're all cheering for each other. On that play specifically, was that just the easier throw was Nate? Is that why? Because you had both guys. Yeah, I should have Tez. Yeah, it's kind of a um, just a. Moving kind of, I had to, I, maybe a little bit of pressure with Kamari there. Um, he kind of, we had a split floor protection, but at the end of the day, um, you know, Tez was freaking open. I saw the backside safety get eyes on me, but Tez ran right by him. So, Jake, how, how excited are you guys? Uh, you know, you got a prime time home game coming up here with the excitement around this team and everything. So, so what kind of excitement are you going to feel you and your teammates Saturday night? You know, you know. Top top here at home. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm hoping for, you know, one of the, you know, great night in Keenan. I'm, you know, challenging the fans to come out. Um, they've done a great job so far this season. You know, a night game against, you know, a ranked opponent, you know, a ranked matchup. You know, we're number 12 in the country. They're um, top 25. So, you know, what more can you ask for um, in Carolina football? So, you know, let's, let's, let's bring some energy and uh, let's go out and have some fun Saturday night. Drake, Mac, Mac was saying yesterday to us that, that he said, and I think the coaches and staff meeting, one thing to remember is, yes, we're 5 and old, but the story of this team is still being written. Yeah. And you obviously want to write a lot of chapters to this thing. For sure. Like, I mean, do you think that's, a, that's an important reminder that obviously you're off to a great start, but the story is still being written? Is that something important to keep in mind for you guys? 100%. Yeah, he reiterated that this morning in the team meeting. You know, kind of the story is still um, you know, being written and kind of unfolding. So, you know, it's our job to um, you know, kind of you leave legacy and be remembered here, you know, not as, you know, just a football team, but also as people, you know, how we're handling, um, you know, the success and uh, not let it, you know, kind of, you know, fiddle off and, uh, you know, let, us, let, let it beat us. So I think the team's got good energy and thought it was a good day of practice. So um, just looking forward to getting back after it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.